Good morning, YouTube. Uh, forgive the appearance, but I'm not feeling well. But uh, I came across something last night that I really wanted to talk about. Okay. Now, of course, the reason why I'm feeling so poopy is I've got this massive ear infection because I just got back from the beach and I overdid it. <laughs> but this is the important part. The important part is that I've got a really great rumor I want to share with you. And the rumor is, is that Lockheed Martin has managed to create an operational fusion reactor. Single source, picked it off of the dark web last night. Don't know if it's true, but it makes sense. So let me explain. In 2014, Lockheed Martin announced that they were beginning a program on one of these compact nuclear reactors. And uh, they were hoping to have a prototype up and running in five years and then have some units available on the commercial market by 10 years. Well, add five years to 2014 and what do you get? 2019. That's right. I've been actually monitoring them you know, the whole time. <laughs> because this is a big deal. And if you're watching this video, I really don't think I have to explain to you why this is such a great big deal. Now, so let me go ahead and share with you the specifics of the rumor. Okay. Um, now, the dimensions I got on this thing, uh, they didn't give me a volume. They just gave me 7 by 10. I guess that's the freaking floor space the thing takes up. So I don't know how tall it is. But they also said that it uh, is the size of a you know, jet engine. Again, what does that mean? <laughs> you know? It's like, what's, it's the size of a dog. What dog? A little dog or a freaking big dog? I don't know. Anyway, the bottom line is that they have this unit. It's supposed to be operational and it's supposed to be producing 100 megawatts. Which, of course, I have no idea how much power that is. But it sounds like a lot. Okay, because the navies talk about putting them in the ships and using those things to drive their ships. Plus, the Air Force is talking about using these power plants to, for aircraft. So I guess these units aren't for that heavy. And then, of course, the part that I'm interested in is spacecraft. That's right. This kind of power plant? Mmm, yes. The age of the Jetsons may be upon us. Now, uh, of course, the first five years of production will be going to the military. But after that, these units should be uh, being made available to the general public. And here's the other thing. This is just the first generation unit. It's the 100 megawatts. The next generation is supposed to be 500 megawatts. And like I uh, uh, said earlier, I'm not really sure how much energy production that is, but it sounds like a lot. I mean, they talk about powering cities with these things. So, yeah, I'm like super excited because, you know, that means that freaking energy, all the free energy, might as well be free energy we want. We can grow all the food we need in our basement, you know, freaking get the robots going, pick that lettuce. R2-D2, get up there in uh, space, start harvesting the freaking inner solar system, finally get hold of some freaking non-terrestrial steel, you know, um, in, 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 a, in a fairly abundant way, and we can rock. Yeah, so I'm like super pumped, and, and I'm guessing if you're watching this, then you pretty much have an idea on uh, how this is going to change uh, everything, too. <laughs> but don't go rush out there. And buy Lockheed Martin stock, although it's a good company, you know, and you certainly wouldn't lose money. But, yeah, man, these are exciting times. Anyway, um, of course, I can't, still can't, I can't hear out of this ear. It's freaking bugging me. Anyway, the point is, is I wanted to share this rumor with you um, because, um, you know, I'm excited. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, if you're watching this, you're excited too. Now all we need is for the uh, room to be verified. And uh, there you go. Um, enjoy your day.